Hello, my people. In regards to all these problems we are having in Imo State, especially concerning the killings of the youths, the unnecessary brutal killings of the youths everywhere, and of course, even the recent ones that were killed while they were coming back from their friend's traditional marriage. So, another man of God, Apostle Evangelist Ebube Joseph Eza Goba, has this to say to our governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima. And I hope this message gets to him and he should do the necessary. Please listen as he sends his message across. Governor Hope Uzodima, it's better for you to resign as a governor of Imo State. Damn, for this broad, where did they share for Imo State? It's too much. Since you become the governor of Imo State, since there no peace in Imo State, sending Ahmad Khan all these fighters in Imo State, what thing happened to the Afghan war? What is going on? That seat does not belong to you. Resign from that seat. It's better for you to resign than for you to stay down on that seat. Shelling innocent blood. Governor Hope was a demo. I know, sir. What do you mean by sending soldiers? The Bubago and the DSS and all these police in Imo State. You said that you, are, you want to fight against Unknown Government. You want to fight against Eastern Security Network. You want to fight against IPOB. You want to fight against Biafra. You want to kill your own blood brother. Okay. But let me put it in this way, Governor Hope was a demo. If you say, the reason why he sent military to Imo State is to fight bad people. See, see, why did they kill innocent people in Imo State? Governor Hope was a I want to ask you, have you stand up and condemned the innocent people where did they kill for Imo State? Both children, killing them, and they are not doing anything. You said that you are fighting evil people. I hope was a I want you to know that God is not happy with you. Governor Hope was a if anybody tell you that it shall be well with you, that person is a liar. If anybody tell you that it shall be well with you, that person is a liar. But whatever a man sowed in this life, you will reap what you sowed. Who you will reap what you sowed. And I want you to know, Governor Hope Uzadema, that seat you are sitting in Imo State is not. That seat does not belong to you. You are you are not the one that won the Imo State governor election. So it's like you are entering into a house that does not belong to you. It's better for you to resign as a governor of Imo State. Governor Hope Uzadema, it's better for you to resign as a governor of Imo State. Damn, for this broad, where did they share for Imo State? It's too much. It's like they put you to be a governor of Imo State for them to use you to fulfill their mission. And the, I want to use this opportunity to warn all the governor of Igbo land, all the governors, Enugu, Imo State, Ebony, Abia, and Arambala. All these governors, listen to me. Make I tell you people, if they want to use, use you people as an instrument to kill your own brother, you will receive punishment from God. And if you people, if they want to use you people for, to fulfill their assignment, who should as a son of this nation, it should not happen. What happened to Anambra State? Listen to me. In Obalo, I think it's Obalo, 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 yes, Obalo. Kill innocent youth, we not do anything. Uh, uh, what is going on? I want to understand what is going on in this country. Kill innocent people, youth. In Anambra State, and I don't know what Governor Soludo do about it. After Anambra State, the entire state. Kill innocent youth. Uh, uh, what is going on? And President Mohamed Buhale, CC, military, they kill innocent youth in Igbo land. Have you stand up and condemn me, tell them they should stop killing innocent youth? Have you do it? If you hate Igbos, allow them to go, allow them to go, allow them to go. Then for you to send in military to killing innocent youth. Killing innocent youth that don't do anything. Killing them. Killing them. I can't allegations they put on their head. Listen to me, this blood that you have shared in this country will fight against you. It will fight against you. I don't know why all these politicians, I don't know why, I don't know what you people are taking you people Ah, I don't know why, I don't know. Can't you people fear God? Can't you people fear God? Do you know that one day you will die, you will live this world, and you will face your judgment. The Bible says that that shall not kill you. God is not happy with you people. And Tinibu, I want to tell Tinibu, what you need to do now, come out, apologize the body of Christ, and ask God forgiveness. If you do not do that, Tinibu, very soon, you will see how God will disgrace you. Very soon, God will punish you. If you do not come out, Tinibu, to ask the body of Christ to forgive you, and pray that God will forgive you, but if you pretend you have money, you have power, you're a politician, listen to me, there is greater authority that's greater than you. Because is, this is an insult to the body of Christ. Tinibu, can you do this into your religion? Can you do it to your religion? So you won't, you, you won't because of power, because of money, insult the body of Christ. Do you know what you do? Now they were looking for me to arrest me, looking for me to kill me. Nobody can stop me for what I'm saying. I'm sent by God. Nobody can stop me. It's only God can stop me for saying this.